Connect is a member-only, real-time discussion board and resource library for quantity surveyors, moderated by NZIQS. Connect can assist in your role by acting as a real-time channel of communication to a wider industry peer group in a secure online space. It's available 24-7 if you'd like to take part in live discussion, or you can receive a daily digest of discussion content if you'd rather not. Since Connect's inception, there have been a number of discussion threads on the site which have been catalysts for NZIQS positioning statements and agenda items for debate at board level. It's likely there will be more as time goes on. As such, it's important you're familiar with the platform so you have the opportunity to comment as these discussions occur. From your browser window, type connect .nzidiqs.co.nz forward slash home. Click on sign in. From here, log in using the same username and password that you use on the NZIQS website. If you don't have a username and password, click the register button and enter your information where prompted. If you're still experiencing login issues, contact us for assistance. Beginning with homepage layout, you can see the latest developments to your community group discussions on the left, announcements in the center, and upcoming NZIQS events on the right. Your primary means of navigation on Connect come in the form of these blue buttons. Home, where we are now. Communities, that shows a list of forums or chat rooms that you're subscribed to. Directory, which shows a list of all NZIQS members on Connect. Events, which pre-populates listed events from our website. A browse shortcut to directly view library entries and discussion posts. And a participate shortcut, where you can skip directly to posting, sharing a file, or browsing the FAQ. To start off, we'll quickly overview your Connect profile. It's accessed by the top right of the screen here. Your Connect profile consists of a profile picture, bio, and any other information you wish to link, which can be made visible to other Connect users depending on how you set your privacy preferences. From here, you can manage your contacts and networks. Think of this as a list of people you've talked to and discussions who you'd like to keep in touch with. As I'll show you later, you can request contact with other Connect users through the discussions view. Also within this tab is Networks, where you can view a list of Connect users in your area and request contact with them that way. Also in this menu, you can see an overview of all the communities that you're subscribed to, and any discussion threads or topics you may be following, which I'll show you how to do later. From the My Contributions tab, you can view a summary of your activity on Connect to date, with a breakdown of how you've been interacting. You can also view Achievements. These are digital badges given to users in recognition of engagement or reaching various milestones. Also in this menu, you can view a list of any threads you've started, commented on, or files you've uploaded. Moving to the My Account tab, you can view your privacy settings. This controls what parts of your profile are shown to other users in the discussion view and in the member directory. By default, most are set to private, but you can change them here. Moving along, if you have an RSS reader built into your browser, you can set up discussion feeds for your subscribed communities here. Moving to community notifications, here you can select which emails you'd like to receive from Connect and how often you'd like to receive them. Note the option for daily or weekly consolidated discussion digests here. You also have the ability to set a signature. Here you can set what you'd like to display at the footer of your messages and discussions. Finally, you have your private inbox. Here you can view requests for contact from other Connect users, private messages from your existing contacts, and invitations to join new communities. By default, when joining Connect, you're automatically subscribed to the Open Forum community, where all members can discuss general matters and share documents. I've navigated back to the Connect homepage, and to view a list of all the communities you're subscribed to, click here. For most members, this will be the Open Forum seen here. To go to a forum, click on it. This is the homepage of the Open Forum. It's set up vaguely in the same way with discussions on the left, announcements and shared files on the right. You can also view a directory of community members down the bottom here. Within each community, there is also a library. A community library is a list of user uploaded documents, and it also lists documents uploaded as attachments within discussion threads. I'll talk more about this later. To navigate to a community's discussion, click here. Here you can see all the community discussion listed from the top down in chronological order. You can view the discussion title, the member who started the discussion thread, and the number of replies on each row. There are also some basic tools which allow you to sort discussions here. To view a discussion thread, click on it. This takes you to the thread view where you can view the original post followed by all the replies displayed below it. And you can create replies of your own by clicking here. 
By default, replies are visible to other users in a thread. However, you can also reply directly to a user's private inbox. In addition to replying, you can also rate interesting and insightful comments by recommending them here. Comment recommendations are visible to others in the thread, and they're a great way of passively indicating your agreement or endorsement of an opinion without having to write a comment reply. You can flag rude or inappropriate comments by clicking here. Clicking this temporarily removes the content from the thread and alerts NZIQS staff to review it. If you meet another member in discussions who you'd like to keep in touch with, you can send them a contact request or private message here, which will display in their private inbox as we covered previously. The last feature to cover is libraries. At the time of producing this video, the library section of the site is due to be overhauled, with new features and a brand new look. I'll be demonstrating with the updated preview today, although the old version works much the same way. Starting at the first row underneath the library button, we can see a carousel of recent uploads showing the total views and downloads for each file. Scrolling down, we can see the full list, with tools available for sorting by creation date, most viewed, and so on. View entry page allows you to see the contextual discussion in which this document was originally attached. The following will add that document and any further contextual discussion to your list of followed articles in your profile. Mark is an appropriate, which we've already covered, and the other options you won't be able to see as they only display to me as an administrator. Clicking on a document brings up a preview, a download button, and the ability to recommend it, which we covered before. Clicking the dots in the corner gives you a list of options, including the ability to view the entry page, where you can comment on the document publicly if it wasn't uploaded as part of a contextual discussion. This concludes our basic overview of Connect. If you have any issues logging in or using the software, you can call our office line or email comms at nziqs.co.nz and we'll get in touch to assist.